Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to part 5 of the RDI campaign Total War Room 2. Now, in the previous episode we took Ariminum from the Romans. We now have a beachhead on Roman soil and I'm, I'm hoping to try and take out these Roman settlements Brundisium, Neapolis, Roma and of course Velathri. So, what to do? So we have four settlements. We have a full province here in Illyria Epidamnos, Delminium and Iada. Currently in Iada we are recruiting a unit of ballista, Greek ballista and a unit of Illyrian spearmen. In the north I'm a little bit wary because we have the Veneti tribe which are in forced march and they are recruiting some units by the looks of things. They are on their side of the border but that's a pretty decent army to have, pretty decent in number. They would easily take Iada I would assume. But anyway we're at the end of this end turn phase. I think we are ready to just ready click the button. I'm just going to quickly check a few things. We can get some mercenaries here in Ariminum. Now I was thinking this in the previous, at the end of the previous episode because Ariminum of course is weak. There's barely a garrison there. We need to convert these buildings the next turn and my army is a little bit depleted as well. I do have my ships for chicken garrison as well. So I might just get a unit or two, well, probably only one unit of mercenary Italian spearmen just to bolster just a little bit more and now we can finally click end turn and see how we do in the end turn phase hope you're having a great day guys let me know what you think of the campaign in the comment section below it really helps me when you give me some feedback and so far the first two episodes have had some great feedback and it's nice to see that people appreciate the campaign and how the campaign is going as we go through this end turn now I like the fact how that the end turn phase goes much quicker as well. I remember when the game was released, it take it would literally take one to two minutes just to get through it. It was like Empire Total War all over again. Especially when you used to land on Ottomans, that was a nightmare. Trait gained. My admiral is untrustworthy. Oh god, we get plus plus one cannons. That's okay. Trouble populace in Italia. We know that, of course. And quartermaster's report. So as you can see, that mercenary was probably in vain in the end. Now I am thinking probably take Velathri next because it's the nearest one and then descend upon Rome itself. I believe the Etruscans, yes the Etruscans are over here in Alalia. I'm guessing this is probably Carthage down here. So, oh and, and the Epirus have taken Brundisium. Well done Epirus. I believe we're trading with Epirus. Let's just double check that. Oh we're not. Can we trade with Epirus? The blessing of the Olympians upon you. It looks like it could what be possible. What do your noble people desire of us? Damn it. What about just trade? Yes, look at that. We have trade with Epirus. That's good for us. The Etruscans might be willing to do some business. We have a non-aggression pact. Trade. Can we get some money from them? Alright. They will trade, but they want me to give money to them, which is not going to happen. Just trade. There we go. Excellent. We've got trade with the Etruscans. Quite friendly towards us, Epirus and the Etruscans. That's good because we're both at war with Rome. So we can now Rome will now be attacked on three sides from the south with Epirus, from over here now in the west with the Etruscans, and then of course us now in it Italy itself. The Bruci and the the Bruci or the Bruci, not quite sure how to pronounce it. If you guys know how to pronounce it, let me know in the comments below. Bruci or Bruci. But anyway, they're in the north. They are neutral towards us. I would like to get one or two allies there if possible, but they don't want to do anything with me. Macedon, Scordisi, yeah we've got lots of people we can trade with, Tribali we're trading with as well, the Veneti was the other ones, but we're going to leave it for now. I think getting trade with the Etruscans and with Epirus definitely helps out. And we're going to prepare to take Velathri next, so what are we going to do this episode is we're going to try... Actually I remember what I was going to do. Try and knock down some of these buildings if possible. Okay, so can't afford to do that one or that one. We can get a sacred enclosure, which will help because of the public order. So we'll start off with that. We're going to get 657 next turn. I'm going to merge some of these naval units, and then I'm going to actually um, uh, these guys can go. Gradually, we're going to remove a few of these bit by bit to get us. Look at that income next turn is going to go right up. I'll keep the one unit for now just in case we get attacked because of course our garrison is still 
healing and we don't have much of a garrison either we only have one unit of slave slingers one unit of slave javelin and four Illyrian tribesmen so we want to make sure we don't get attacked this turn although we do have some decent units but of course Rome has some of the best units in the game although I don't suspect they will at this stage of the game probably later campaign or mid campaign oh we're looking at this oh my this is not good, good is it our enemies the Veneti <laughs> well not enemies but probably will be enemies in the future the Veneti and the Bruci or Bruci both on the border both with big stack armies both looking to perhaps attack me so it's probably wise to try and get something with both of them or at least one of them this turn the Veneti probably like me the best so we might try to get something with them first well met friend okay they don't want a non-aggression what about the Bruci or Bruci well met friend nope Sit and let you it's not good it's not good guys we might want to get some more units here can't afford any at the moment though although saying that we do have the raiders which aren't far away I could just move the raiders to Yadda although speaking of Yadda minus 13 public order that's not good let's just double check this rebellion in three turns what's causing the worst public order here then minus nine for events what events though doesn't really explain um, provincial instability is minus seven minus five for slaves taxes minus seven I could lower the taxes but do I really want to do that probably not I think we can handle the rebellion if it happens anyway I'm not too too worried about it I'm, I'm gonna let things like that go because usually when a rebellion happens they only they only spawn with about four units so they can be crushed quite easily so we're just gonna click end turn it's the big full stack armies you have to worry about my aim in this campaign is to try and have some epic battles to show you guys preferably with me outnumbered I, I, I'm the type of player that prefers the uh, one region kind of factions you know the guys that start off with one settlement and you expand outwards you only have like one border to, to protect at the beginning I also prefer that with battles as well I don't mind being outnumbered every now and again plague in Navisos uh oh that's probably one of the reasons why we are suffering so badly faction joins war Athens and Macedon oh my right construction complete barbarian village excellent outrage in Illyria that's unfortunate oh what's this right household expands plus two morale for all units that'd be good um we currently got research rates oh I like the research rate ah we'll go for the morale that's going to be more beneficial in the short term for now, which is what I'm looking for. I'd like to get something with the Bruci. I welcome you, uh, Damn it. Speaker. You kind of need to get that non-aggression pack to begin with. How many turns for Rebellion? Three more turns. It's gone down a little bit, so I'm not too worried. I can actually improve my grove to this, which will give me more food and agriculture, which isn't really worth it at the moment. What I need to do is concentrate over here, where things are bad. So we're going to change that can't afford the port but we get the hamlet and we get the public order this will be fine and then I can branch out I could probably branch out now speaking of branching out let's get my champion to go on a little bit of a recce for me let's take him north he's going to scout out the area for me into Velathri it looks like Velathri actually is there for the taking eight oh my god we can take Velathri can we do it this turn oh if only we could do it this turn we wouldn't be far off it we need to keep recruiting and keep replenishing anyway so it's good to know that I could probably try and attack them salt the garrison it's not really worth it though so I'm happy to keep my my guy there would actually send him a little bit back just to get out of their their region there Rome is the big target that's where I'm gonna go for after Velathri and then down to Neapolis take all of Italia have nice little coastal settlements then, Ariminum, Neapolis, Iada, and Epidamnos. I might even turn on Epirus eventually and go for Brundisium and Apollonia as well. And then bring the war down south to Carthage and then back up to the Etruscan League. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan in theory, but it's going to be a lot of hard work. This is what concerns me at the moment though, these two armies here. But we'll see what goes on. Okay, let's uh, click end turn I think. I think we can click end turn. 
Roma Invicta. I must say, this music mod is fantastic. It's great to have that mod. I think that mod has been... We've been waiting for this mod since the release of the game, you know. The game... No no offence to Creative Assembly and people that worked on Rome 2, but, you know, there are things which were wrong with the game on release, and there are still things wrong with the game now. Cough, cough, CJI. <laughs> But one of the things I always felt was bad was the music, or lack of music, because... Ooh, Rebellion. Damn it. Because I think the music, you know, it's something which gives a lot of um, polish to the game. Ooh, a Mastodon are destroyed, my god. Athens must have... Well, they have. Athens have wiped them out and taken Pella. And Larissa, and they have... Athens, of course. Sparta is still going, I think. I think Sparta's still going, oh my god. It's all mayhem at the moment. Right, let's try and research something different. We could go for infantry tactics. Um, Warhorn. I suppose the naval traits would be good to go for. Recruitment cost, upkeep cost would be useful short term. It'll only take four turns. Same with this. That gives us ram damage. That's going to be useful for the ram. Because, of course, being a naval faction, it's important that we get some of those naval traits on our side. We're now going to... Um, convert this to a port. There we go. And now we can probably. Oh, we can upgrade this to a. Um, let's see. Balkan culture is going to be useful. Plus two for Balkan. Plus two. Lots of these got plus two for the Balkan culture, which is going to be important. So these three. Grove of Anzotica gives us plus three public order anyway. Plus four public order, plus experience for new spies. That sounds tasty. Naval recruitment cost. Ooh, we're going to go for the Grove of Bendoras because we get the experience for new spies. We get four public order, which is quite big, plus two Balkan cultural influence. So we're going to go for that. And we don't have much money left again, <laughs> unfortunately. But I think we could most probably branch out. Let's see, what would we have? Minus 17. The thing is, if once we take Velathri, we got we're going to be sitting in that province anyway. So I think we will push out a little bit, probably just as far as this road by here and uh, what we will do is we will put them into a fortified stance my ship is garrisoned there anyway and it's actually replenished keep the mercenary raid in Hemiolia there for now and then in the next turn we'll have enough movement points to take Velathri as well and my general can level up again this is this general is going to be going to be my beast general in this campaign Brightcost the beast he has some half decent stats there if I can just find him there he goes Four stars there. Let's see authority. Look at that. He got. He has inspire. He has rally. He has plus twenty percent aura of influence. His cunning is pretty good as well. He got second wind, and his zeal isn't the best. So he needs to get his zeal up a little bit. But he's going to be a pretty good general for us, nonetheless. And I'm going to click end turn again. We're just going to fly through this now. Try and get that battle for Velathri. If Rome doesn't attack me, they may attack me. Oh no, they won't. They haven't attacked me. I'm a bit disappointed. I thought they would attack me this turn. They must be trying to fight Epirus at the moment, trying to trying to take Brundisium back. The Etruscans seem to be building quite a large army up there. I can see it on the top left-hand corner of the map. I wonder what they're doing. I will probably betray the Etruscans eventually. Although, if I got allies, I'll keep my allies for as long as possible. I think that's probably going to be wise. And the score DC. Ooh, my score DC. What are you doing? You're on my land. You went on my land then. Rebellion in, in Delminium. Okay, we got rebellion to deal with. Lost legionaries, what the hell? The tribal council has received word that a number of Roman deserters are roaming our lands. What should we do? We can hunt them, which will give us plus two military training. That'd be good. Or servitude gives us wealth. And slave? Uh, we're going to hunt them. I think we'll hunt them down. Oh, a little bit of glitch. There we go. Trespassing, score DC, yeah. What do they think they're doing? They're on my land right now, actually. Oh, uh, actually, the rebels. Go DC are up there, and they're actually the brute sea. Oh my God, they got a spy. It's pretty obvious what they're going to do. Oh my God, this campaign is <laughs> all going to hell at the moment. Right, so we can deal with these guys right now. There's only four of them. I have four units. I have blister, so I'm going to attack the rebels right now. Oh, I could auto resolve this, guys. I think I probably will. I would like to show it, but it's going to be pretty easy battle. I'm going to go for balanced stance. 90% win. We've, got, we've won this battle easily. Rebellion's over. That's why I'm not worried about rebellions in this campaign. 
and we're going to release the captives. Is there nothing else? An increase in rank, of course, and that's good. My general's increased his rank, and we are going to research rate. We're going to go for the research rate, I think. Authority plus research rate is good, and then we can go for well, what you've got. Uh, we'll go for zeal, I think, with you. Go for zeal, and then we'll try and march you back to Yadda. And now this turn we can. Oh, the Romans have counterattacked. They have the fifth legion here, the Antiqua Legion, plus the garrison of eight. So that gives them what eight plus six equals fourteen, if my mass is correct. We only have eight ourselves. So I think we can take them with this eight. To be honest with you. I'm feeling quite confident, maybe a little bit overconfident. Yeah, I think we're good to go. Before I go, though, I'll probably attack their general first. We'll try and do something with them. Let's see, we can show a force, we can assault them. I'll go for the assault patrol. 56% chance. Let's see if it works. Oh, damn it. That's a shame. Damn, I hate when that happens. And the increase in rank. There we go. So. What can we go for? Manipulation, authority. Uh, what well, you're you're weak on cunning, so we want to get your cunning trait. I think. Yeah, we'll go for that one. There we go. Three, three, three. Pretty good champion of ours. And now we could get some mercenary. We could get some mercenary Etruscan hoplites for one turn. Four hundred and thirteen. It might be worth it. I like the cavalry, to be honest with you. I like to have some cav. Uh, do you want some more cav? I'd probably go for can go for Italian cavalry or Lyrian. What's the better cavalry? I think it's the Italian cavalry. They got bet. They got 65 health. 65 health. Better morale. Yeah, we're going to go for the Italian cav. I'm going to take one. I'm going to take two units of cav, and then I'm going to attack Velathri. So finally, we have a battle in this part. Battle of Velathri. We are outnumbered. 1,240 against seven. 760 plus 1,120. They have plebs, levies, and rorari. They have a general, Publius Leonis, and some Hastati and rorari as well. So, guys, I shall see you all on the battle map. Okay, guys, welcome back to the battlefield. I shall click the start button. I have my ballista here ready and waiting to attack. Soon they will be in range of them and they can wreak havoc. I'm going to take my cavalry straight up the right hand flank, though. It's my general and the two mercenary cav, mercenary Italian cav, which I've recruited. I'm also going to march forward with these units. Not taking many men to this battle. Let's see, they have some levies at the front. They have Rorari on the flank. They have their cavalry on the flank here, which I'm going to try and take out with my cav. Nullify their cav. Nullify their movement if possible. That's the aim. Just going to march straight up to the right flank. We'll start go for a charge. I'll even send one towards the general probably. And speaking of charging, let's do that now. As a matter of fact, blisters on automatic, so we can do some damage for me. Try and get some epic screenshots into this now as well. Get some close in action, which the cavalry is now coming towards my cavalry. We can go for a charge. Give some inspire. Boom! Straight in cavalry charge. Take out the cavalry. Completely kneecap the cavalry. That's the aim here. Oblite is ready for battle. I don't want them, the levies to get too many shots in, so I'm going to hold formation and charge with the first group. How many calves left? 37. Gonna have to disengage now with the one unit, the cav. Just drag straight through and go for their general. He's unprotected. crash in. I'm keeping these guys back as backup for now, don't need them yet. General's unprotected. 40 against 60. Two cavalry units. They're pretty good. They can disengage. But the one cavalry can stay back actually. The general's going to go for the charge. He's also going to do some rallying for me in a second. Now it's time to charge with some of these other units. Charge. Charge. Come straight forward for me. Go for the plebs, general. We can hit them in the back here, and this will be the most of their army down now once I attack them here. Get a rally in as well. Charge them straight in the back. 
I don't mind losing the mercenaries, they're only there just for making the numbers up really. Get the ballista to aim for the general. Disengage them. Get my cavalry to march over there. Send these levies in now. They were held back as backup. Cavalry's taking out their cavalry, which is good. They're now going to go for a cavalry charge. Hammer and anvil into the back of the Hastati. We hunger for blood and battle. Their general's routing, oh my god. They're falling apart. The Romans are falling apart. We're going to charge the Hastati with two units of cavalry now. Time for the epic cavalry charge you've all been waiting for, guys. Epic cavalry charge incoming into the back of the Romans. Boom. Not quite that epic, but very tasteful. A little bit of inspiration. These two Illyrians can charge up there. Get the general out. And the Italian cav. The Italian cav can actually... Yeah, just pull them out by there for now. We've chased them all over the place. The Sestati are the trouble. What's causing me the trouble, I should say. Ferrari are broken, so we're going to try and break them properly now with the uh, mercenary Italian cavalry. Back here, try to break them off as they run. Make sure they route and stay off the battlefield. Nope, oh, and they've come back. Some Rorari have come back to me. Most Italian cavs just chased them off the field completely. They can come back for the Rorari. My general's going to go for the plebs. And slowly but surely, we are winning this battle. And we will take Balathri in this part. By the looks of things. Illyrian cavalry. Charge. Kill them all. Well, best tell these guys to stop firing in case they kill some of my own men. Boom! Oh, they went flying. They went flying. Plebs, you are gone. Ch chase the Hastati now, jump into them, kill them all. There they go, they're shattered. Continue the battle briefly, guys, just to get my general to level up a little bit. Let's see where he's at. Uh, needs to get some more kills, doesn't he? I don't think we're in a position to get many more kills. No, not too many men around, just some Astarte here. Okay, we'll end the battle here then. Quit the battle. Close victory. I think we're in control pretty much all the way. Didn't lose too many men, lost some infantry here, lost some cavalry here. But if, as you see, most of the, my losses were the mercenaries. They are disposable, that's kind of what they're there for. They do cost a little bit for one turn, they cost an awful lot over a period of turns. But they're good to bring in just before a battle, just to give you a little bit of a boost. Just before you crack on and try to win your battle on the battlefield. And there we go, Velathri is now ours. Ooh, into the guts, that's not going to be nice for him. Velathri is ours, we will of course occupy Velathri. Military Editions, The Wrath of Armatus, rank 3. Perfect. We're going to give them some traditions. What are we going to give them? Unit recruitment, weapon inflicted by melee units. Morale could be good in ambush. Mi missile, I don't really use missiles. Defense, that could be useful. I'm going to go for the defense, I think. Yeah, we'll go for that. Just because I want to use the, <laughs> the the balls of fire, basically. So the last three now is ours. We have a little bit of money to spend as well. We can. We can't convert that or that yet, but we can do that in the next turn. Public order is terrible, saying there's going to be a rebellion next turn. I say it bring on the rebellion. Something to look forward to for us, I think. We're also getting plus one food, province effects, plus five campaign movement, public two, pl plus two public order, plus three wealth and livestock, minus four growth and minus eight tax rate. Ooh. That's not good, but the Romans are really weak. Look at this, they're going down to Neapolis and Rome itself. I'm going to go for Rome before long, once I'm happy enough and satisfied. I also am going to have to take this army back to Yadda and build some more ballistas and some infantry here. Although saying that, I may actually just move this army now to Delminium and then to Yadda to counteract this. Delminium is probably the best bet because it's our strongest 
settlement. It's a walled settlement around here. Nice central base to defend from, from attacks from the north or the south. Uh, we're okay from the south because of Epirus. They're quite happy with us and we are now trading, of course. But I think I shall end this episode here. I hope you all enjoyed. I've been Dragonheart. Until next time, goodbye.